Hi! What is yoga? That is my um, topic of the day. Um, I don't think I will maybe give you the full like answer so that you feel after this video, ah, oh, now I know everything what yoga is and um, what life is or whatever. <laughs> I just want to point um, towards my experience, what is yoga, what, what says the um, yoga philosophy um, and things like that. Let's see where we end up. So I think today almost everyone has some idea what is yoga. Everyone has a relationship with yoga, I think. A friend that practices yoga or they try themselves or um, yeah, I think everyone get an idea when I say the word yoga. It was not the same thing maybe 10 years ago when I started to teach yoga. Um, then when people came to, to try their first time, there were big questions marks in their face and you feel, felt very questioned uh, and they were maybe scared people <laughs> that it was some kind of cult or, uh, but that's very different now. Now it's maybe more the opposite, like instead of trying to explain yoga is not only sitting and doing meditation, uh, you will actually get sweaty and work with your body. That's what I used to say maybe 10 years ago when I had beginners. Uh, today it's more, okay, this is not only sport, it's also something more. Um, it's a tool to connect with um, yourself on a deeper level, deeper level. So it's said that yoga is a more than 5,000 years old tradition. Uh, from my understanding, uh, it, will, it will be a lot of that in this channel. <laughs> I will take the opportunity to um, speak my truth, which doesn't have to be your truth. So you let's f just feel in yourself what connects with you and what doesn't connect in you or feels right for you. Just take that aside. Uh, but I, from my understanding, uh, the wisdom of yoga is something um, that lies within each human being. Uh, I don't believe we need books or teachers to get the knowledge of yoga. I think it's possible from pure insight, from um, um, stealing your mind enough to reach your inner wisdom. And that can be done through yoga <laughs> and reading books and finding a good teacher. So there is a paradox there. But at one point or, or another, uh, you will have to start to rely on your own inner teacher and you will have to try to start to reveal the wisdom within. So yoga is also what we are. So it's not only a technique or philosophy, it's wisdom that is possible to find within. Um, and in the Yoga Sutras, an old scripture of yoga, uh, that it said that Patanjali, um, a man, a sage, was channeling this information. So actually he didn't read a book, he just had the insights. Uh, and you could have that too. And for me it's true. I feel that in me, the more I practice yoga, the more this uh, knowledge just um, opens up for me, it's, it becomes accessible, but it, it has been there all along, that's very clear. Uh, and he says in one of the first sutras, I think it's the, the second one, yoga shitta vritti nirodaha, which means uh, that yoga is all about um, stealing the mind. 
And then he continues to explain that if we identify only with our thoughts, um, if our thoughts are like waves um, on, an, on a lake, and our very mind is the lake. So if the mind is all the time like stirred up with the waves, it's very hard to see the bottom of the lake, which we could just for now call our consciousness or uh, soul or deeper truth or where we can get this knowledge. Many juicy things are waiting for us in the bottom of the lake. So as long as we identify with the waves, with our thoughts, we're gonna be trapped there. We're gonna just um, continue thinking <laughs> and thought if you think about it they are not really they don't create insight so they are yes the um, processing information that you get in through your senses or through your memory and then they are processing that information but thoughts they are simply thoughts so it's important for us humans to not being trapped in thinking, but instead starting to use thoughts as a tool. We're gonna uh, talk more about that in uh, another um, video, how we can manifest things through controlling our thoughts. Um, so through meditation, through yoga, through just waking up one morning, <laughs> uh, enlightened, that happens to people, <laughs> I heard, read. Then you can start to steal your thinking process and see the bottom of the lake. And from there you can uh, get knowledge. From there you can start to understand who you are. Uh, and also there you find peace. So if yoga is all about finding peace, uh, to connect with your own soul, you could call it, I like to call it soul. Why do most people when they do to go to yoga class, yes, to work with their body, uh, getting sweaty, and why do we put, put so much effort to this asana? Why can't we just like sit? ask our thoughts to be very still and be enlightened, be happy all the time. For some people it could actually be that easy, but for most people it's not. So we have this body, right? We are here on this planet, we have this body. Um, and if we are not comfortable in this skin, it's also gonna get very difficult to be peaceful. So if you have a lot of stomach pains or if you have uh, disease, that's gonna soak, that's gonna take all your um, energy. Um, you will have to make friend with your body first. It's actually, it's really like your temple. You have to make it a nice environment to be in. And so that's why it's the asana, the postures, the, the physical yoga is such a good starting point. Uh, and also you don't have to go into any philosophy. You can just do the asana, practice with your body and right away it's gonna make you feel better. It's always a nice thing to also get confident in the body, that you can do things with it. That it's not just something that carries around your head so that you can think even more, but actually using the body so that you start to use uh, everything that you are, at least a little bit more of it. Um, and our consciousness, it's not, it's very easy to think that our consciousness, it's, it's only in the mind. No, no. The consciousness, and we can take that in another video, but it's actually not, uh, it's about sp 
and space and time <laughs> so it's not even in the body actually but if we for now is stay with the body <laughs> the consciousness is in every cell of your body that's why it's so important to start to connect and understand every single part uh, of your body hmm. And I don't think you ever did a yoga class or even heard anything about yoga without hearing the importance of breathing. Why? It took me actually a really long time uh, of practicing yoga before I realized why it's important with those long, deep, even breaths or whatever, <laughs> whatever breath we were doing. Why? Okay, so the breathing, like now, when you sit here listening or when I sit here speaking, I'm not thinking about breathing. I'm not thinking like, okay, Anna, inhale, exhale, inhale. No, it's very automatically. So, our autonomous, I hope it's like that in English, nervous system, is uh, running our breathing process uh, on reflex. Since we um, came to this planet. We started our life with an inhalation and eventually we're gonna uh, exit this life on an exhalation. And in between that most of our breaths are just, we're just breathing. The body is doing its job. Um, but the breathing we can also easily control. So, for example, our rhythm or our ability to heal um, wounds, that we can't really control. We can, but not very easily. Uh, and also we have to go through the breathing to do that, I think, from my understanding. So, um, so if the, we get the, uh, panic and the heart is really rushing, if you say to the heart, like, stop rushing, it's just going to be even worse. Um, so everything that is, that is run from our autonomic nervous system, we can't easily um, control. But the breathing, we can control. It's the only thing that we can easily control. So there we have a bridge between the body that is just living its life and our will. So we can consciously run our body through our breathing. So there is one aspect. Also, when we are focusing on our breathing and when we are controlling our breathing, we know that we are present in the now, that we are present in our body. So we are present in the here and the now. Um, and as soon you start to think about something else, the breathing will start to uh, run automatically again. So when you know that you are in control of your breathing, you know that you are present. So it has many positive aspects, of course. So for example, when you do asana practice, when you do physical yoga, when you are with your breath, you know you are in your body and you are not very easily injured, for example, because you feel everything. You feel more at least. Um, and also you create more circulation in the system. Um, you clear the energy channels. And I think that's going to have to be another video about the Nadi system. Okay, so yoga, it's a tool, but it's also a wisdom that all of us has inside of us. If we just can steal our minds enough to reach our own source of wisdom and happiness and love and all those useful things that we have in our being. Um, so it's a wisdom, it's a tool, and it will lead us towards enlightenment, 
And I think that's a really, really good word. So the purpose of yoga, it's not a nice ass or nice abs. <laughs> it's someone wrote that on Facebook really good. It's not yoga is not about uh, getting, getting a nice ass it's getting your head out of your ass <laughs> or getting I would say like get yourself out of your head um, yeah I don't like that expression it's good to get your head down in your ass <laughs> better than being only in your head with your thinking process <laughs> um, so yeah so yoga is a tool towards enlightenment to don't have areas in your body that is dark, so to say, that you can't reach, that you can't see. Uh, and also in life of, overall, like you want to see things clearly. In Sanskrit, we call it avidya, where we walk around with uh, shaded glasses. Uh, so we see everything not so clear. We have always like this, um, th this filter of the world. So yoga is somehow like, cleaning those filters so that you see the reality for what it is um, and also that will lift all your fears because in reality from my understanding in the truth i live in in reality there is no fear there's only love so that was everything for today. Keep on practicing and look for the enlightenment. It's not impossible to reach. It's just different, different grades of enlightenment, I guess. It's like a dimmer. <laughs> so, hmm, thank you. <laughs>